Hey guys, today we are going to be making a Mario head. The colors that we're going to use for today are going to be red, white, blue, black, brown, and the peach color. We're going to start with. So grab two packets from the air dough bucket. I'm going to roll it out. So the way that I did it was um, first I got a piece to make the nose. And then from there I kind of went to see you know, what the rest of his head, the size would be. It's gonna start out looking like a potato at first. Comparing the sizes, we'll make sure the nose fits in there. And then kind of shaping the head, see potato. It's gonna look a little weird at first, but it'll, it'll make sense later. So you're just gonna push on all, all the sides. Comparing it again, I think it was too big so I made it a bit smaller. All right, and then we're gonna mark on the head where the eyes are gonna go. So they're kind of like ovals. So I made these little holes in there. And then I put the mouth in there. So for this one, the mouth is a little low, but it's okay, it'll still look like Mario. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do, we're gonna make the eyebrows. Oh no, no, <laughs> we're making the eyes. <laughs> so we're gonna grab some white dough and we're gonna roll two balls first. And then we're gonna make little pill shapes. All right, so there's one. Once we have that one down, we can put the other one in two. And then we're gonna grab some blue and do the same thing, but make smaller looking pills and flatten them out. Plop one and then we're gonna plop down the other. Cool. We're gonna grab black dough. Gonna add a third layer on the eye. All right, so we're almost done with the eyes. The last thing we need is a little bit of white to make a little glimmer in his eye. They're gonna be tiny, tiny. So it looks pretty even. Set one down. Line it out with my nail. I use that. A, I use my nail a lot to flatten things out. It works. You can use a tool too, but it's up to you. All right. Next, we are going to do mouth. So we're gonna do this like watermelon wedge shape thing. Flatten it out. And then we're gonna press it in there. We're gonna use a tool to kind of shove it up in there. And then flatten it out. Cool. Then we're gonna grab a bit of white dough and do the same thing but smaller so it looks like his teeth. Flatten, flatten, flatten. Squeeze it in there. And then we're gonna use the tool again to really press it in. Now he's smiling. So it still looks a little wonky, but 
Trust me, we'll get there. Just needs a couple little pieces and it'll start looking like Mario. Just bear with me. So we got the eyes and the mouth, now we're doing the eyebrows. Simple enough, we're just gonna grab black dough, make little snake shapes, and press them onto his brow. All right. Finally, we're gonna do the mustache, and it'll start looking like Mario. So I'm comparing it to the size of his nose. It's gonna be a little bit smaller. I'm gonna roll it out. Looks about right. Then we're gonna flatten it out. Kind of curve it a little bit. And then flatten that out. And we're gonna take this tool to kind of make little indents in there. So I did one in the middle and then two on each side. All right, and then I use my fingers to kind of round those off so they don't look too sharp. And we're gonna place it on his face. So he's getting there, he's getting there. All he needs is his nose. And yeah, all right, he's starting to look like him. All right, and then the last part that we need is to his ears. Make sure you make two even-ish size balls, and then we're gonna flatten them out to tiny little half moons. So they're about the size of his eye. We're gonna pop it there, then use this tool to stab it in there so we can hear you making fun of him, because he doesn't quite look like Mario yet. Do the same thing on the other side. Give him some hearing. All right, and then we're gonna grab brown and give him some hair. So we're gonna do the sideburns. What we're gonna do is make little uh, tear shape shapes. Tear shape shapes. Teardrop shapes. <laughs> and then we're gonna do a little indent on each. So it's gonna be this weird wing looking thing. Pop one there, press it against his head. It's gonna start looking like a balding old man. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right. Now we need the rest of his hair. So we're gonna grab some brown dough. We're gonna make these little ridges. And we're gonna grab a ball, and we're gonna flatten out one side more than the other. And then kind of see how it looks compared to the head. And we're gonna keep flattening this out a little bit. And then we're gonna use a knife again to make the ridges. So again, I did one in the middle and then two on each side. And then round this off again. All right, then we're gonna plop it in there. And press it against his head. Make sure the round parts connect. And use a tool to tuck the hair behind the ear if you have to. Cool. And then I use that to kind of accentuate the lines. And now we're going to do the visor. Give him a hat because he is a balding man. So we're gonna do this, another wedge, red compared to the head. All right, and then flatten it out and then you're gonna start to curve it like this. Like an upside down smile and just press it against his head. We're gonna save some red dough to make the end. And then we're gonna make the top part of it. So we're gonna make like a circle that kind of has squarish sides. 
compare it to the head. And then I'm gonna use my thumb to let his uh, head fit in there. Cool, cool, cool. And plop it in there and this worked out nicely the first time, cool. All right. And now we're gonna make a small circle. Okay, that's easy enough. So I'm using my nail again to press it against the hat. And then the last bit of red dough that we're using, we're gonna make the M, so make a worm. And then these sharp angles are a little tricky, but use what you can. And then I cut off some edges and there is the M. Cool, and there is your Mario. So what do you guys think about Mario? Let me know in the comments. Also let us know what you wanna see in the future and thanks for watching.